Thank you, Jesus. Okay, I have no idea if anyone is going to be up this early in the morning, but I heard the Lord and I'm gonna share what the Lord spoke to me personally and what the Lord is saying to many of us right now. And that is that you cannot reschedule and you cannot put off those things that I have called you to do. It is a green light and it is move forward and it is time to take action. So there's no So there's no more procrastination. There's no more hesitation. It is time to move in this direction and go to that destination. That's what the Lord is saying. Something that um, happened to me is that when the Lord said to take this leap of obedience, one of the things that he said to me was that I had to join Orange Theory, that I had to get back into the fitness lifestyle that I used to have nearly four years ago. And I took that leap. I took that leap. I went to Orange Theory. I was so excited. But something began to happen within myself. And I began to wrestle. I mean wrestle. And I had no idea while I was trying putting something up. Oh, I, 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 you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it another day. You know what? I'm just going to do it another day. And I knew that God was saying, you need to go. You cannot reschedule this. No, you have to do this now. And so literally last night, I had uh, an amazing meeting with um, some very special people. I didn't get home till after 11 p.m. last night. And I knew that if I laid down and I went to sleep, that I wasn't going to do this. I wasn't going to go to Orange Theory. That I was going to make an excuse and reschedule. And I said, Lord, I need you to strengthen me because I know if I fall asleep, I know I'm going to make an excuse. My flesh is going to, I'm going to talk myself out of what I know I'm supposed to be doing. And so about an hour ago, I didn't understand what it was. I was getting dressed in my fitness clothes and I was like, I don't like this. No, I'm not wearing this. Oh my God, this looks horrible. And all of a sudden I started feeling this anger towards myself. And then I felt these emotions begin to surface. And the Lord began to speak to me and he said, that's it, daughter. It's okay. I want you to recognize why you keep wanting to reschedule and put things off. Because you're angry at yourself for drifting away so far from this area of fitness. And you've been embarrassed because you don't like where you're at right now and you don't want to be around people in, in the way that you feel toward yourself. And so I realized that I was angry at myself for putting things off and for drifting, kind of like drifting off way out there and trying to find my way back home. And so I wanted to encourage some of you this morning. I don't know, if, even if it's just one of you. The Lord is doing something so amazing right now. He's going to deep places. He even spoke to me through spontaneous worship this Sunday where I was doing worship at a service. And the Lord said, I'm taking you into a deeper place, a place of a new nakedness before me. I'm talking about a deep place of intimacy. And I've talked about this before where Jesus says, real intimacy isn't a shout of hallelujah to me, isn't just praising me and worshiping me. Real intimacy with me is when I come to touch a place in you that you don't want me to touch because it's something you don't like about yourself. It's an area you're angry, you haven't forgiven yourself, you're ashamed, embarrassed, 
This is the place. When I come to this place in you and you open up and you let me touch you in this place, that's real intimacy. That's real intimacy. And so what I'm saying to you is this. This morning, okay, I'm wrestling with myself. This is an internal battle. And I said, man, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, oh my God, the reason I've been rescheduling and trying to make excuse after excuse, I did go to Orange Theory. But when I traveled to Philadelphia and I came back, boy, it was like I had this internal struggle going on because I was angry at myself for drifting off a little too far. When I was going through long suffering and I just, I lost a part of myself. And so God is saying in the season, he's, he's coming to the place where we've been angry at ourselves. We haven't forgiven ourselves in some areas or we're embarrassed at some areas and the Lord is ready to heal it. He's ready to deal with it in a beautiful way. So the Lord is saying again this morning, you cannot reschedule. So whatever it is that you've been battling within yourself, the Lord's saying, do not, do not hold off anymore. There's a huge blessing. Listen, what God is about to do in the area that you've been struggling to step out into is going to be such an outpouring of the Holy Spirit, not only in you, but in the lives of the other people that he's called you to. And so that's the word of the Lord this morning. You cannot reschedule. You can't reschedule that appointment. You can't put this thing off. There's something that you've been fighting. There's something that you've been wrestling with within yourself. And the Lord is saying, I'm here. My love, my love is pouring in to those places to heal you so that you can move forward. I know you don't feel comfortable. I know you're embarrassed. I know you're upset, but you're going. You're going because I've given you a clean slate and I've made everything new. And you're going to see the greatest restoration, but not only the greatest restoration, what you felt that you lost. Years have gone by and you're like, my God, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. I don't know if I can show up. Some of you, I even hear the Lord saying, you might be, God might be telling you to take college courses or classes or do something. And you're like, I don't want to be the one to show up in a class full of young people. And I'm the oldest one in the classroom. Nah, this is embarrassing, man. And God's like, you're going. There's something amazing that God wants to do through you. Don't let Satan make you tear yourself apart. I'm telling you, receive the outpouring of the Spirit of God. Let the love of God go into that place you feel embarrassed. Let the love of God go into that place. And even right now, I take authority over the assignment of the enemy to get you to be, number one, to, to, to feel so embarrassed, like, my God, I'm showing up late in the game. I don't know who this is for, but you, I'm coming on here to be vulnerable to tell you, I was looking in the mirror and I said, my God, I'm so angry at myself right now. I'm angry. God, Kelly, how, how could you drift off that far? How could you, how could you let them wait? How could you let them waves of sadness get you to drift out that far and it takes you four years to come back. And you know, this is the place where we got to let Jesus come in. And so we can, we can, we can face that part of ourselves and forgive ourselves and say, no, this is, this is my time to come back. This is my time to do this thing. And not only am I going to see an amazing restoration but my God, the ministry of the Lord is going to flow in this area through me to reach people in the most beautiful way. So I have to move in this direction because it's bigger than me. Okay. So I, I felt like I needed to say this because I'm being real. A lot of you, even some of you in ministry, the Lord's lifting the veil and he's going, you're angry. 
Basically, you're pissed off at yourself and you're not connected to it and you keep blowing this off. You keep putting stuff off. You keep putting your running shoes on, not being the forerunner in that area. You've been running because you're angry at yourself. You feel embarrassed. So guess what? We're saying today in the Cimarron tribe, you know what? I forgive myself. Okay, I forgive myself. I recognize I was going through some painful areas and I put some stuff off and I didn't give myself the love and the self-care that I deserved. I got so disconnected from myself. That's what sadness does. That's what heaviness and sadness and sorrow does. It disconnects you from yourself, from nurturing you and loving you. And God is moving deep in this area in his remnant. And it's beautiful. And it's going to take the ministry of God in you to a whole nother level of intimacy with you and Jesus and the outpouring of the Spirit of God in the lives of others. You're going to go to an incredible place. But I'm telling you, I don't know who this is for. You can just say, man, this is a word for me. The Lord is literally, I'm repeating this right now. I got to be out there. I didn't sleep. I knew. Listen to what I'm saying to you. We're in a spiritual revelé. Marching orders from the Lord. Military style. I literally... My flesh tried to make myself go to sleep. Oh man, you can read. I was ready to push the reschedule button on my Orange Theory app. And I went, man, in the Marine Corps, when I was in the Marine Corps, we had what we call rifle watch and we had to stay awake. And so it's like, when you're, when you're on duty, you got to stay awake. You got to stay awake, stay awake for your fellow man, for the soldiers, right? And I said, God, and I, and, and I began to shift gears and I began to shift back into that military mode. And I was able to stay up this whole time. Going, I can't go to sleep. I can't go to sleep. Uh-uh, this, this is critical. I can't fall asleep. So I'm saying to you is, that's a word. You can't fall asleep. Okay? You. This is a season of discipline. But I'm telling you, in it, God is setting you up. Because he's healing you in places. To, it's like looking in the mirror. And facing yourself and going, I am so sorry for abandoning you. I am so sorry for ignoring you and abandoning you. Man, and so this is the place where God is saying, okay, you're going to show up and you're going to be present. I'm healing the anger that you've had towards yourself. I'm healing the area that you've been ashamed of yourself. You've been embarrassed. And uh, you're stepping into the classroom. You are, you're, you're, you're stepping on that platform. You're stepping into that position. You're, you're moving into a place. I'm surrounding you with people that are going to cheer you on as you regain that area in your life. So listen, God is surrounding you with the people that are going to cheer you on. They're not going to laugh at you. They're not going to look at, oh man, look how behind you are. Oh my God, where you been? No, no. The people that are, the area that you're stepping into in this transition, okay? It's like full, everything is full circle. So you're coming into a season where God's got people that are going to support they're going to celebrate you and they're going to support you. It's going to be like an emotional support. You're going to have a strength system. Look, you're going to have that spiritual reinforcement. You're going to have people that are going to coach you and encourage you and cheer you on. Do not allow the devil to, to, to get you to like talk down to yourself and, and talk yourself out of this incredible season of restoration where God's giving you a clean slate in that area saying you're coming back. Okay. Now I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna, I, I need to look at some comments. It's three twenty-two. I got to head out the door at four o'clock. Okay. Cause I got to be there at four 30. And guess what? I got to have an assessment, meaning I got to know about the body fat percentage. I got, I got to face this stuff and know, man, this is good. Because this is the comeback season. This is our gain season. We're going to gain. We're going to regain that strength. We're going to gain back that territory. There's so many things that God is restoring. 
But what's happening right now is he's restoring us. He, he's, he's saying, look in the mirror. I know you're angry at yourself. You don't see it, but I'm going to show you. And you're going to feel the tears come down. I started crying. I started weeping because I was like, oh my God, Lord, thank you. Thank you for showing me why I was trying to put stuff off. Not even, not even being conscious of it. I was putting stuff off because I was embarrassed. I don't, I didn't want to walk in there. I was like, God, I don't want to walk in this gym looking like this. Oh, okay. Where is it that you need to walk? What, what area are you stepping into? And you're like, oh God, I don't want to step into this area. I'm embarrassed at where I'm at. No, look at where you're headed. Look at what's about to happen. Look at the transformation. Look at all the love that's surrounding you. Look at all the people that God is surrounding you with. Where, listen, you're not, you're going to come back and you're going to sustain. Listen, you're going to be able to maintain and sustain that. You're, you're, you're not going to lose that ground anymore. This is a time and a season. You're, you're not only going to gain back that ground. God is going to enlarge your territory. And it's going to blow your mind at what's going to happen. But I'm telling you, the greatest enemy, honestly, that we face is within ourselves. The greatest enemy, I'm telling you, is, is, is when you look within yourself. And, and this is where you, some people, it's the hardest thing for a person to do is to really love themselves. Is to incur, look, David had to stand in front of a mirror and encourage himself when he had to not only go to battle, but lead the battle, lead the men, lead the troops into battle. And I'm telling you, this is a season God is saying, I'm, I'm, I'm taking you to a place of, of a deeper nakedness before me. It's a deep place of vulnerability. It's a deep place of nakedness, but it is going to be the deepest, greatest restoration within yourself that's going to be explosive in the way that the ministry of the Lord breaks out of you like old faithful. Old faithful. What is that? Yellowstone Park? Old Faithful, that big fountain, it's a gusher. It's a gusher. It's a gusher with the tears that are coming because the healing, the deep healing that you're going to experience and the joy that you're going to, I mean, the joy, the joy is going to come back. I'm telling you, it's going to be amazing. So many have been beating themselves up. One of the greatest bullies is the bully from within. The bully from within. I'm telling you, oof, Jesus. Some of you, I don't know if you've ever watched that movie, A Peaceful Warrior. Powerful movie. Peaceful Warrior. Okay? It's like facing yourself. Your spirit man, okay, where your spirit is seated in heavenly places, is facing your soul. The part of you that... I'm telling you where the enemy just wants to make you tear yourself apart from the inside out. I'm not good enough. My God, look at, I've been blown. I've been, I've been, I haven't, I haven't done this thing in years. There's no way I can get on the horse again. There's no way I can do this again. It's too late. The biggest plot and scheme of the enemy is to talk yourself out of something glorious where God wants to move the most. So, I don't want to ramble, okay? I know. I love it. I got the gift of God, Gab. I, that's why, listen, I, 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 I just want to encourage you. I'm, I'm kind of tired, but I wanted to be obedient and tell you right now. It's a serious word from the Lord. You cannot reschedule. Whatever it is that you've been putting off, putting off. Some of you, it might even be a, a friend. It might even be uh, people that God is bringing back into your life. It might be a place where God wants to heal a relationship. It could be a family relationship. It could be a friendship. Something, something that you keep talking yourself out of. I'm going to do it. I'll do it another day. I'll do it next month. I'll do it. Da, da, da. And so you ask the Lord, take it before the Lord. And he's going to tell you, you're going to know, I can't put this off anymore. It's go time. There's a green light from God. And I cannot, I cannot hesitate. I can't put this off. I got to move. 
I got to take action. So take that before the Lord in the secret place. God bless you guys. Thank you for your prayers and your love and support. Because yeah, I'm about to get in my car in the next 20 minutes. Drive over there. And uh, it's a clean slate. It's a clean slate. So telling you, my God, I was that close to, to, to rolling over and laying in the bed, trying to just bicker and, and, and have a pity party. Pity party. Oh, look at you, man. Oh, my God, you don't want to walk in there like that. I'm telling you, the worst enemy is the enemy of the flesh within you, within me. That's it. I love you guys. I see, who is this, Rebecca? Rebecca? Is it, Re what is it? Let me see, Rebecca James. Oh, blessings to you too, Rebecca. Blessings to you too, beautiful warrior. You guys, I love you. I am cheering you on. I am celebrating you. I'm about to make an announcement in the next, in about one, one day, okay? Because I've been busy working on this stuff. I told you I'm opening up my doors. The Lord told me it is time to open the doors for one-on-one -on -one coaching and counseling. The Holy Spirit in me is the coach. The Holy Spirit in me is the counselor. It's something so life-changing, something so unique, and God through a powerful encounter from the Lord. He told me to pioneer this and many would come and let me tell you something and feel so safe, feel so safe and so celebrated. It's a place where many of you will be able to come and God is going to reveal the state and condition of your heart towards him, towards yourself. He's going to reveal the places where there's been some spiritual hemorrhaging. He's going to reveal the hidden pain. He is going to take out those pain suppressors, okay? The pain suppressors, the enemy that wants to suppress the pain because the enemy knows that when the pain is addressed by the Holy Spirit, when Jesus comes to stop the bleeding on the inside, when the woman with the issue of blood pressed through the crowd, she touched the hem of the Lord. And that means the blood of Jesus Christ. And it stopped her bleeding. It stopped that disease. It stopped, what is that? The hemorrhaging of the soul. The internal bleeding from the lies of the enemy. The, the trauma, all that stuff. And listen. And so the Lord, the Lord, the Lord comes in to move in that area. But the enemy knows when the pain is healed, kingdom purpose is revealed and you're able to guess what? Prosper. You're able to prosper from within. And God gives you a vision and a blueprint to financially prosper to advance his kingdom in the most amazing, unique, creative ways between you and the Lord and your covenant with him. And the gifts he's given you from his, from his heart. The gifts of the spirit of God he's given you. And so I'm going to open these doors because I saw something explosive. And God told me. The people will come. I said, Lord, I only want the ones that they're ready. They're ready. It's going to take your participation. It's going to take your full engagement. You, you'll be fully engaged, fully engaged in this thing. And it's a mentorship journey and it's powerful. So within a day, I will be putting the link out so you guys can see it. And uh, the ones that it's time, you're going to go through the most amazing adventure of your life with the Lord. Powerful. It's going to be amazing. But it's a place where you'll be safe with the Lord. Be vulnerable. I'm talking about being introduced to the amazing man or woman of God that you are in the spirit. Recognizing, I mean, embracing parts of yourself that you've so disconnected from because of a religious system because of man-made doctrine and systems, that you haven't even begun to embrace that part of yourself. So I'm excited about what God is going to do because he told me he's going to send me pioneers. He's going to send me forerunners. And I'm excited about everything that God's going to do. And the other thing I'm going to tell you is God said, I'm sending you my dark horses. And you know what the dark horse is? 
The dark horse is the one that everybody said wouldn't win the race. Oh, that person's never going to achieve that. That's never going to happen in that person's life. No, the devil is a liar. God told me, I'm going to send my dark horses to you, daughter. And those dark horses, they're the underdogs, but their dog days are over. And I'm about to move through them in ways that can blow their mind. Family members, people are going to say, there's no way. There's no way that that could happen in my son or daughter's life. Or there's no way that could happen in that person's life. I'm telling you, I know that I'm talking to some dark horses. And there are those of you that when you come into this, this season, when God brings you in, you're going to encounter so many things with the Lord on this journey with me and the Lord, in this mentorship, in this coaching and counseling. It's going to change your life forever. And my God, you're going to see yourself in a way you've never seen yourself through the eyes and the lens of the Lord. I'm telling you. So I love you guys. I'm going to get off here, but I will be posting it because I'm going to take up to 15 people on this three month journey. I'm saying one on one, but I'm going to, I can only take about 15 people and, and take you guys through a journey. And then the next phase of 15 people will come in and so on and so forth. But you guys are the dark horses. You're the dark horses that I had an encounter with in 2002 or 2003 in a bridal gown, barefoot, running in a wide open field with a stampede of dark horses. And I'm telling you, I am so excited because there's no one else I'd rather run with when the ones, when, when, when the, the religious church looks at you and calls you the underdog and they have no idea what God's about to birth through your life because of your humility and because of your pure heart. Blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. Glory to God. I love you guys. Share this with your loved ones or other prayer warriors that need to hear it today. It's a word from the Lord. You can't reschedule. It's go time. You're moving in this direction. And you know what? I'm stirring the nest. I'm drying up the brook. I'm not letting you stay in a place that's comfortable. I'm not letting you blow this thing off anymore. It's go time. You have to move in this direction now. I love you guys. And also, let me say this. I will be setting up a time to do a live stream and to really release the word of the Lord in two areas. Number one, God said, I'm taking the training wheels off and I'm taking your crutches. You're not going through this threshold with training wheels and you're not going through this threshold with crutches. I know what you've used as a crutch, but as a proud papa, I'm taking those crutches, but I'm also removing the training wheels and you're going to gain stability and balance because you're ready to move forward and you're ready to advance in this area that I've trained you and I've seasoned you well. I'm not going to go any further. That's going to be on one of our next broadcasts. I will be scheduling that shortly uh, this week, and I look forward to seeing you guys there. Love you, shalom, and be blessed, and let the Lord go deep. Let the Lord go deep where he needs to go to minister to your heart and to heal those places that have been blocking you from celebrating what God is promoting in your life, what God is restoring in your life. Okay? Talk to you guys later.